Good afternoon, 2.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP, Future Millionaire, and we got some things to talk about. We've got uh, start of the bear market period. Current Bitcoin trend looks similar to June. We've got XRP corrects towards its crucial support amidst the market crash. And we're going to go over some technical analysis in Bitcoin and XRP. That's probably all we're going to do in this update because I don't want to go into too much. We might do XLM and XDC and DGB if I decide to go through a whole third of them. So let's do the intro. Make sure to hit that like button if you're considering joining Tom's Army and joining the other 166 members. Yes, we fell under 170, but it happens. I'll try to win over more of you as we go on through this month and hopefully towards the year 2023 because it is going to be spectacular. So first things first, make sure to hit that like button. So I want to start with the start of bear period. Current Bitcoin trend looks similar to June. Bitcoin on-chain data shows current trend with the short-term holder SOPR looks similar to that in June. This may mean that a bear period similar to then has started. Bitcoin short-term holders to continue realizing losses. As pointed out by analysts in a crypto quant post, Bitcoin short-term holders have continued to realize profits recently. As suggested by the SOPR, this trend may be similar to the one seen in June. The spot output profit ratio, or SOPR in short, is an indicator that measures the profit ratio of the overall market by looking at the price each coin was sold at and comparing it with the price it was bought at. When the value of this metric is above 1, it means holders are on average selling at a profit. On the other hand, SOPR values less than 1 would mean investors are currently dumping their Bitcoin at a loss. The value of the metric when exactly equal to 1 would imply that the overall Bitcoin market is currently breaking even. A modification of this indicator is the short-term holder STH, SOPR. This metric accounts for those coins that were held for less than 155 days before sold. So the chart shows Bitcoin STH, SOPR over the past year. The indicator currently seems to be below 1. As you see in the graph, which we can't see, Bitcoin STH SOPR has remained below 1 for a while now, showing that these holders have been selling at a loss. Less than a couple of weeks back, the indicator retested the SOPR equal to 1 trend line. However, it was rejected back downwards. The reason for the rejection is possibly that since the SOPR is equal 1 line represents the break-even point, holders would be keen to sell as soon as the price reaches that point as they would feel they got their money back. A similar kind of retest of the metric was also seen in, seen back in June when a mini bear market period was going on for Bitcoin as the indicator was also rejected downwards then just like now, it's possible the market may observe a similar bear market situation. I believe we're in a bear market. I believe we're in a big bull trap that led to a fake bull season which the altcoins didn't really respond except for select fews. Um, certainly not XRP and some of the ones that we thought would be you know, in a traditional bull market. Couldn't even get back to the bull season highs. So, so I thought we were in a major bull trap, but I really believe we're in a bear market right now. At the time of writing, Bitcoin's price floats around 42.7K, down 10% in the last seven days. Over the past month, the crypto has lost 12% in value. So Bitcoin's price has crashed in the past seven days. So that's something good to watch. We'll go over Bitcoin real quick and then we'll go further. Essence Doge is up here. Um, Doge bounced off of its support. We've got a new area that we can put down here that could be a stopping point in between the 1306 uh, double bottom. We have to come up to about 1652. That resistance point is almost lined up symmetrically or unilaterally with the 200-day and the 30-minute time frame. So I could see a retest there. But right now, we could also get rejected at the 1610 because that's the 100-day moving average. So if you're a fan of Doge, you're lucky I was watching that. So Bitcoin... We bounced off the 42,499 support. We're up towards this 43.5 area. This is a support resistance area. Um, if we break this, we'll come up to 44.2. The 30 minute time frame is up here around 45.3. I don't know if we have enough strength to get up there. We're gonna see. We look like we're starting around the bottom, but if we can't get through the short term moving average, this is just these fake hooks I call it, and then they hook down. So we've gotta get over this area. So that's Bitcoin, pay attention to that. 
And then XRP corrects towards its crucial support amidst the market crash. And then we'll get into some TA on XRP. XRP reflects range bound trading from the past few months. There has been a continuous fall in the price from the past few days, and the coin is moving with downward momentum. The technical parameters are indicating an incoming or upcoming bearish momentum, which may take the coin to its support line of 51 cents. That's what I am would love. That's the symmetrical triangle. And if it hits that perfectly, look out, baby. Remember my year-long symmetrical? That's exactly what they're referring to. XRP has been straggling towards its support zone with the current price of 75 cents. In the last two months, the coin has marked considerable fall. The XRP coin price is moving beneath the downtrend line stretching over from November. On December 23rd, 2021, the price got tested at the trend line but failed to suppress tre the trend line and lift. On January 3rd, 2022, there was a formation of the bearish engulfing pattern, after which the coin declined massively in three days. On the daily chart, the MACD line is below the signal line, and the histogram chart also represents red candles. The, RSR, the RSI being at 28 has just entered the oversold zone. This can be an opportunity for the bears. The volume bar is also representing a bearish price action. Investors and traders should get blah, blah, blah. So that's something fantastic, I thought, to read. Um... But yeah, that, that's all I wanted to read on that. I really, uh, I like bringing that kind of stuff where it kind of, you know, it'll relate into the market. So let's do some technical analysis real quick, then I'll let you go. Make sure to hit that like button too as we're getting this XRP loaded. So XRP, we've been talking about this. I drew the line down, but that's 0.7077, that low support. But we're bouncing off a of 75 support, but outside of a wick that got pulled back very quickly. We're coming up to the 100-day moving average around 80 cents. We have upper support at the 30-day, 200-day, uh, and the 30-day, and the moving average is up at 81 cents. So we could be fighting for there like we talked about last night. We could come up to the cup and handle at 83, but honestly, I think after this, however this plays out, I don't think we're going to do some huge cup and handle right now that comes up like that. I just don't see it. I could see maybe if we wanted to get frisky and come up to 83, but I believe we got a date with there or possibly 52 cents. That's just, I've shown you guys in the past couple days, go back to some of my past videos, I don't want to go through the whole thing about the five-year pattern versus the one-year pattern versus the two-month pattern, but we've come through the two-month pattern. We're about to come through and come retest the five-year, or the one-year pattern, and if we do the five-year pattern, we would come through 52 cents eventually. So right now, I think we have a date with 57 or 52 cents. It's that simple. Nothing more, nothing less I can say about XRP. XLM, I'd like to say it's doing exactly what we thought it would because XLM is exactly what we think it is. Um, I know this is confusing. We're doing some fun. Just having some fun. Um, but if we were to come up here, we bounce off 26.4. We used 25.1. We didn't come all the way to it, but that still held that support. I think we can come up here and maybe retest that 27.8 line if we wanted to in the 200 day and the 30 minute but 27.3 could be overwhelming resistance we got the 100 day coming up there so we'll see what happens i don't necessarily think we're getting to 29.1 i think this is more of a fake out the volume is crashing on the way up so this is a sign that the market's getting ready to roll over folks xdc slightly different we've got a double bottom formed i think we could come up and retest that 9.6 area but this is often a time if the market can't find any volume, we'll roll over and fall through 8.8. And this would just act as a right arm. So be very careful if we get up and we start to move and we're up to 9.6 and it doesn't have any volume. Goodbye. Or 9.7. So that's your support areas. Use them wisely. And then DGB. The DGB. We thought maybe it could come up and retest the 30 minute or possibly come farther up. But we're getting rejected by the 50 day right now. So we've got 3176 as resistance. We have this fall point of 2898, which isn't far off from our 2561 double bottom. Or uh, 2124 double bottom. No, it is 25. 2561 is double bottom. 2124 lines up with the 38K. We thought Bitcoin. So we're going to see what happens here. So 41.9 should be about 2561, but we're going to see. We're going to see how far this can come. Can it come up to 3176 or is it just going to roll over? XRP Future Millionaire. Make sure to hit that like button. Turn that bell notification to all. And subscribe to the channel for your return. It would mean a lot. Stay blessed, everybody.